G'day everybody, it's me again. I've got this little uh, Hino Dutro uh, torque liner here. Um, got a vacuum problem, or at least I think it is. Um, it only takes a couple of pumps to completely, completely drain the brake circuit. And even with the engine running, it never can create quite create enough vacuum, I don't think, for it to work properly. I'll start the truck. to pump the vacuum. I'd expect it to be faster than that personally. Now the other issue we're having is that even with the truck running, it's very easy. Two pumps and you've got no three pumps and you've got no assistance anymore. You have to pump back up again. The other problem here also is, is that the clutch actually has its own I don't know if you can see it up in there, the clutch has got its own booster. So when the vacuum uh, when the vacuum isn't enough, the clutch doesn't have enough assistance for you to actually be able to disengage the clutch. Now the truck was presented to me with the problem being that the uh, brakes aren't working and the clutch isn't working. Well, all I can seem to tell is, is uh, what I seem to be able to tell is that the uh, vacuum isn't sufficient, but what the question is, is how much vacuum is sufficient. Um, it seems to be pulling up to about uh, 30, uh, 30 inch of mercury, which seems to be enough, but is it getting there quick enough? Is it holding? Because once again, after a couple of, even just pressing the clutch a couple of times and the pressure starts to bleed off real quick. You know, you should be able to pump the brakes pretty much continuously, I thought, without it you know, becoming such an issue. I will check a couple of other parts of the brake system to double check it, but still, even, you know, even they're sitting there at an idle pumping the clutch, it shouldn't, it shouldn't uh, run out of vacuum. So if anyone can offer some advice here, that would be really great. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope to resolve this problem. Um, the biggest reason I'm asking for advice is, is that one of the easiest ways to diagnose the problem would be to replace the vacuum pump, but they're a thousand dollar unit from Hino, so Hmm, interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and hopefully one of you will be able to uh, give me some advice there.